Chris, I'm not sure what to post on social media. What's your advice? So the first thing that people need to know when they're creating content is who am I serving? Who am I trying to help? Because you're asking from them something super valuable. You're asking for their time and, and their energy and attention. And really, we have so little of it to give, right? Because everybody's screaming at us, pay attention to me. So my, my view on this is that for them to pay attention, to give me their time and energy, I need to give them something more than what they gave. I, I need to educate them in some way, teach them something that's of value to them, not to myself, but to them. So showing pictures of things that interest me, unless you're like setting trends, is really not interesting to people. So once I learned that, I was able to grow an audience. And the other thing your audience needs to know is that when a platform rolls out new features, they want you to use those features. And if you do that, the algorithm skews towards you. So once I figured out that they're really trying to get more attention around these 10 slide carousels, and my friend Michael Janda showed me that you could teach using this thing, all the things lined up for me because I'm a teacher. I'm passionate about education. Like I mentioned before, I've been doing it for over 15 years, teaching traditional uh, private art schools. And I, like, I found this thing, like create mini decks, teach somebody one lesson per carousel, and hopefully they'll, they'll show up for that. And they have been, and it's been pretty wonderful. Chris, I want you to pretend you're starting over on Instagram. You have zero followers. What are you going to do? Okay, that's a complicated question, and I, I dread the thought of starting over. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> my worst possible nightmare. Okay, let's start over. What's the game plan for starting on Instagram today from zero? There's a couple things you're gonna need to do. The first thing I want you to do is have the right mindset, that this is a long game. It's not a game of instant gratification. If you're in it for that, just I'm gonna tell you right now, just stop. Uh, people share posts with me they're like, Chris, I did everything you said and I'm just not growing. And then I go on their feed and literally they've posted three things. It's like, that's not enough. At least do the minimum. The minimum is to do 12 posts because at least then you fill up the entire grid with 12 things that are consistent. Because you have to remember something. If somebody sees one of your posts, they're not going to insta follow you. They're going to see what else you're doing. And it needs to be now consistent. Consistent meaning that you're focused on one one specific topic. So they're they're going to say, look, I really love uh, toy cars and everything you post is about toy cars, but then there's this one about an action figure. Now you can say they're kind of related, maybe they are, but I'm not really interested in that. So I'm not gonna follow you or I'm going to unfollow you if you keep posting that. And this happens all the time, I see this. So don't, don't do what I do personally, but what you wanna do is be very narrow and to focus on one topic. And that's going to lead to the next question, what the heck am I going to write about? There's two ways to do this. You could write about things that you're very passionate about, or you could think about a specific audience member, and Benji, you talked about this before, to imagine somebody that you're speaking to. It could be your younger self, it could be a cousin, a sister, a brother, a mom or a dad or a, a classmate, and speak to them and try to help them. And you have to approach this with the mindset and the spirit of generosity to help other people without strings attached. That's it, you need to give, with no expectations. And if you do that and you do it consistently enough, you're on the right path. The next thing I would advise you to do is to pick out maybe three colors that you're gonna use in combination of, not all the same time, but three colors so that when somebody sees your feed, they get a feeling like, oh, there's some intention behind this. I want you to pick one, maybe two fonts at the most and just use those two fonts. And the last thing I wanna say is this, is that people who don't have a background design, they're naturally insecure about their design skills. So when they have a layout and it's just really simple, they feel like that's not enough. So what do they do? They start adding more and more stuff to it, making it worse and worse. So I, I recently did a carousel clinic, a workshop, and I asked people, basically, if your design isn't better than this generic design I put together, which is basically one typeface, one weight, one color, if you can't do better than that, then don't do it. And it's really that simple. Chris, what do you think the secrets to growing on Instagram are? If you really want to grow anywhere, you have to assume nobody knows you and you have to create something that a stranger would feel so compelled to share on their timeline. Like you or I, we might see a post and we might like it. And if it doesn't really tickle us, we're not gonna like it. But for us to go out of our way to then go and hit that share button and to say something about it, like you guys need to stop what you're doing and look at this, it has to be super valuable to them. 
And that's one of the ways that I've been able to grow because when I post something, thankfully people like to share those things on other platforms and on Instagram itself. So it helps to bring in their friends and their family. And so that's how I've been able to grow. Now the structure that I use on this self-contained story is using something that's been used in marketing for quite some time. It's called the AIDA, A-I-D-A, which is you need to start with something that grabs people's attention and usually you use something that is of a benefit to them. There's a formula to this too. It's called the ROT formula, R-O-T. So the ROT formula goes like this. You promise a result that they're looking for, you identify an objection they might have, and you talk about time as well. So an example of this is learn how to speak Spanish, which is the result, in two weeks, which is time, even if you don't know how to speak a foreign language, which is the objection. So if you use that to grab their attention, they're gonna stop. Now, I know it's a little clickbaity, but the YouTube video says how to grow 10,000 followers a week, which is exactly what I was doing employing this strategy. Now, of course, that's full-time effort. I'm not doing that anymore, but I get about six and a half thousand a week without working that hard, okay? The next thing is interest. You have to build some of these interests. So you got my attention. Give me a little bit more so I keep reading, so I keep moving forward. Sorry, the next one is D, desire. And I've changed desire to detail. In Instagram carousel, this is where you have to deliver the goods. You got me with a hook. You, you've teased me as to what the answer is going to be. You better give it to me, otherwise I'm going to be really angry that I've swiped through seven slides to get to this point and you've not paid it off. So that's, that's details for me. And the last one is action, A. So that's A-I-D-A. -A. Action is for a call to action. Tell me one thing you'd like me to do. Do you want me to like this? Do you want me to share it? Don't tell me to do 45 different things. If you want me to check the link in the bio, tell me to do that and that's it. And finally, Chris, do you have any more tips for us today? Here are my four additional tips I'm gonna drop on you right now. It's very hard to write these carousels. It really is. And I have just kind of a weird balancing act that it needs to be light but satisfying. If it's too heavy, I don't think you understand the subject well enough to explain it simply. And you've heard this expression before. But sometimes people just give me a very light, frothy thing and it's all foam and there's really no beverage in there. So you need to be able to make sure that somebody has a good takeaway that isn't 100% completely obvious. If you go through, it's like, you know, if you breathe more, <clears throat> you'll be alive longer. Yeah, I, I know that. So that's really not light, but satisfying. That's just light. So how do we do this? There's a game we call it heads or tails. You flip a coin, heads, write 10 headlines. The same idea, just try to find the best way to phrase it. So you start with the headline and then you build the rest of the carousel to deliver on that headline. It's a promise that you made, you better deliver on. You flip the coin again, it's tails. Focus on the key takeaways. And if you start there, you know it's going to be nuggets of wisdom or gold as they like to say on the internet. So if the key takeaway, slide eight or nine, isn't meaningful to anybody, isn't insightful, isn't personal, is not relevant to them, then you've got nothing, it's all garbage. So what I would do is start heads or tails if you get stuck and start there. And sometimes trying to write the headline for me is horrible because then I don't know what else to write. So I start tails, like what are the key takeaways? And I go backwards from there. Next, you have to learn how to use hashtags for sure because hashtags teach the algorithm what the heck you're talking about. A lot of strategies on how to do this. All you have to do is Google it. You'll find some hashtag strategies. Use any of them, use all of them, give it a shot. Okay, that's really important. Next, a really great way to grow your audience is this, is once you've met the minimum of posting 12 pieces of content consistently about one topic or one subject matter, write a guest post. Find somebody that you look up to that's in your space and spend an inordinate amount of time creating a super valuable piece of content. Design the heck out of it. Give them your best post ever. Share that with them and if, if they like it, they'll post it on their feed for free and they'll send perhaps hundreds or maybe thousands of followers for you. A couple of people in my community have done this and they have grown by 20 to 30,000 based on the kickstart that they got from me sending eyeballs to them. The key point here is this, is that their count was already good. They just didn't have eyeballs on it. The ones that don't have a good account, I could do a guest post, they only pick up a few hundred, not good for them necessarily. Still pretty good relatively, but not the maximum value. So make sure that's there. Now, if nobody's willing to do a guest post for you, and 
that's understandable. You can also pay for shout outs. This is something that happens and it doesn't cost that much. You look at people who post other people's content, you just DM them and say, look, how much do you charge for a shout out? I will write the content. I will write it and design it in the style so it's consistent with your feed. And then I will mention myself very briefly at the end. And if you could do that, it's a very inexpensive way to jumpstart. I personally have not done this, but I know people who have, who've really been able to grow literally from zero to now 100,000 followers in less than a year. That's it. Thanks for watching everyone. That does it for today's video. I hope you found these tips to be helpful. If you like what you heard and still want more, I have a few seats available for my Instagram workshop this Thursday, November 5th. During this live virtual workshop, I'll show you how I'm able to write and design carousels that connect. I'll share tips and tricks on how to write more engaging copy, find just the right colors and typefaces to make your brand stand out, and how to optimize your workflow so you can spend more time being creative and less time fighting the tools. Click the link in the description below and join me in class. We only have a little less than 25 seats open, so sign up today to reserve your spot before it's sold out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the future. Thank you.